Beverly Caton Tang and along with Robert Tang. We are from Danscape. We are former Canadian, uh, two time Canadian uh, champions as well as two time North American ballroom champions. <laughs> We're going to take you through the uh, what, what a natural turn is in, in a Viennese wall to get a little bit more specific in terms of the technique and the steps and That's the direction. Right. So here's the recap and I'll, we'll just move a little bit further back. So remember for the leads your weight was on the uh, left foot, ladies your weight is on the opposite foot. On the right. So the box was just forward, side together through the leads, back, side, forward, right, and back and left. Alright? And for the follows. We're going to go back with the left foot and back side together, forward right foot side together, back side together and forward right side together. So just a simple box step. That's right. And then we said try to rotate it. So on the first step I will be turning rightward. So if you watch how I rotate, and this again is a recap. So I go forward and I rotate and I go back, rotate a little bit, forward and I rotate, back. So you'll see that we start to travel in a bit of a circular path or a circular pattern. Now when I want to travel down the floor or down the line of dance, I put my weight on my left foot. This is the natural turns that we're doing. My right foot is actually going to step down towards the floor. Even though I'm starting diagonal to center, I'm going to step down towards the floor. So with my right foot and leads you can follow, I'm going to step with my right foot down towards the center. Okay? So ladies, put the weight on the right foot. We're doing our natural turns, as we mentioned previously. So with my left foot, I'm going to be going back, and as I'm, I'm going to send my, my foot back down the line of dance. So my left foot is going to go, I'm going to unwind my body, left foot down the line of dance, stretch out to the side. So my foot is on at that open toe position. That so when you go forward, as Belly said, it's heel, then toe, toe, heel, when we go back, it's toe, heel, then toe to the side, and then this, there. So I'm going to step down the floor, but Beverly, on her point, when she goes back, she's actually going to spread her thighs a little bit more towards her left, to enable me to send my right foot into her body. So we'll just stop there for the moment. And step. Yeah, so I'm going down the line of dance. She's veered off slightly so she can accommodate my turn that's going to come up. So now when I step to the side, you'll see that, hopefully you'll see, that belly opens a little bit and I sway my foot to the side. Now I'm going to push off this toe, it's going to snap, and belly's going to leave her foot flat, yeah? And then you'll find it goes there, notice she's flat, but I have this extra little lowering. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, and... And if you're a beginner, then go back to the previous episodes to still learn the box set, to still learn rotation without necessarily having to know all the alignments yet. And also okay. what, what happens with that is you're understanding the speed mm -hmm. of the music itself, right? So you get a sense of how fast it actually is when you, when you start dancing. Okay. And uh, thanks for joining us uh, here at Dancecape in Burlington, Ontario.